Hi, this is Gail here from IMM Academy and I just want to share something with you today as a plugin that I'm sure you're going to absolutely love. Now many of you who use WordPress find uh, will find the same as I did, that it's quite boring. The text can be very, very boring if you use the text that um, and the formatting that comes standard with um, WordPress. And so if you didn't know already, there are some uh, plugins out there that you can actually add that gives you more functionality to your blogs and gives you a lot more opportunity, a lot more choices in fonts, etc. And so what I thought I would do today is show you one particular one that we use all the time. There's a couple of them, but some of them are not, they sort of uh, um, interfere with other plugins. And so the one I'm going to show you today is the Tiny MCE Advanced. Now, if you look at this particular blog here, let me just shrink it down a little because it's just a little wide. If you look at this particular blog here, this is how it looks. Now, the first thing you need to do, of course, I've added on a few things here, of course, but the first thing you need to do is click on this button here. It's called like the kitchen sink. I think if you hover over it, it says show and hide the kitchen sink. But you'll see that we hardly have any fonts or anything. There's a few colors in here, but there's no fonts and no sizing, just the H1s, H2s, etc. in here. But what we really want is a little bit more functionality in here so that we can have big fonts and little fonts and we can have the highlighter as the yellow, etc. So what we're going to do is go and add a new plugin and it's called Tiny MCE. So let's just go click on the plugins over here and we will go and add a new plugin. And I'll just show you what it's called. I'll go and get it. Tiny MCE Advanced. That's it there, Tiny MCE Advanced. Search plugins. And you'll see it's right here. And all we're going to do is install it. And I'll install that and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I've installed it and activated it. And here it is here under the settings. And it's called Tiny MCE Advanced. And uh, so what it will do is bring up some options that you can have inside this, which is quite cool as well. So you see here all the different things and the different icons you're going to get. So you've got font size and paragraphs, all these different things. And then you can add some of these things from down here. So you just drag and drop them up there. If you want the paste button, or you just drag it and drop it wherever you can fit it in. And, um, and all these other different things you might want to add in. Um, let me see, where's that other great thing? Oh, the font family. You might want to add that in as well. That's a good one to have in there. And so, and the quotes, which is cool. So once you've got in there all the different ones, you might want to insert the date if you want to date things, but I wouldn't worry about that. I just go save settings. And so no, now when we go back to our posts and go add new, you will find that it's quite different now. We've got a lot of additions up the top here. So we'll just switch it back into visual and you'll see what I mean. So, um, because it's a bit small here, it's a bit shrunk. Just a moment, we'll just fix. Okay, so here it is all here. Um, the screen's a little screw off because I'm recording it, and so some of the things are dragged on over here, but don't worry. Now, if you come in here and you think, oh my gosh, there's hardly anything here, just click on your kitchen sink again, and it'll bring all these different things in here. So, if we type this as a test, you'll see now that we have so many more things available to us. We have the different fonts, and so we can um, come down here and we can choose whichever font we like, and then we'll copy that. So we'll paste it a few times, so you can see. So, and we'll just change it again to a different font, which is very cool. Uh, let's go impact this time. See, so you can do all these things. The other thing you can do, which you'll love, is that you can do the highlighting as well. See, that's pretty cool. And you can put things in little quotation marks, which is excellent. So it gives you a lot more choice here on what you can do. So you've got the font size as well, which is very good. So if you want to do a heading, you know, a big heading, you use Impact 36 is normally what you would use. So you would come to this one here, which is normally a heading. They use Impact is often used. 
so you can see that there and so you can make it a different color and you can do all sorts of things with it so hopefully this has um, opened up your eyes a bit of what you can do if you just add that one extra plugin so this is Gail here from IMM Academy. If you need to know any more tips and tricks and amazing things to get you up and running in the internet world and on your internet business, then please go to immacademy.com. This is Gail. See you on the net.